Hello my dear friends and welcome to If Only April. So today we're going to be making an easy dining table. As a busy mom of two little kids, I don't really have time for some complicated builds and very, very long projects. So instead I opted in for this easy design and easy assembly of this dining table. I went to the local lumber yard and it was such an amazing experience and I actually got a real red oak for this dining table because you know what? This table is gonna stay with us forever, probably. The overall cost of the project was less than $300. I was dreaming about this dining table for so long and to be honest, our previous setup was so, so sad. So I was planning and planning and planning and I was postponing this for as long as possible because I thought it was gonna be such a complicated build and if I'm a beginner woodworker, I cannot make it myself. But the tables at the store that I like, they're super expensive, so I was procrastinating so much before I actually built this one, and I regret it so much because it was so easy and it took me actually eight hours to complete it. Can you believe that? So I'm here to break all the theories that you need to have some complicated tools, you need to have a like, woodworking shop, you need to know how to make all this fancy joinery. No, you don't need any of that. You can just make it as simple as possible, build your very own aesthetically pleasing, beautiful dining table. And I'm here to show you how. But without further ado, let's get started on building the table. First, measure a space and determine what the dimensions of the table will be. My dining table is three feet by six feet. I'm gonna start with the tabletop and then I'm gonna get to the base. And um, since it's six feet long, each of the boards, I'm gonna cut it to five feet and five inches because the remaining seven inches is gonna be taken by the side planks. That's how I designed it. So let's get to it. Measure five boards at 65 inches and use your speed square to make sure it's a perfect 90 degree angle. To make sure that the wood won't split, you can take a sacrificial plywood board, clamp it on top of your wood and cut so through So I'm going it. to sacrifice this piece of plywood and cut my wood uh, with this plywood sheet on top. So this in this case, it's not gonna splint. I mean, at least it's not supposed to. So let's see how it's gonna go. I secured this with the clamp and this one, the top one is not going anywhere. You can use a miter saw or a circle saw. When I started my project, I've noticed that the blade on my miter saw is worn out. So I didn't want to risk it on my beautiful oak. So I opted out for a circle saw. Put a speed square down and use it as a guide so the saw doesn't wander off. Now it's time to assemble the top. Lay down your boards on an even ground. I used the plywood sheet to make sure that uh, it's even and put it on the ground since I was worried that my workbench is small and it won't fit all the pieces, plus it could be a bit warped. Play with the boards and align them at the best layout so there's no gaps in between. At this point also flip the boards to choose a better side for the tabletop of your amazing dream dining table. Okay, show time! So this is how it looks, I mean I like the positioning of the wood and everything. I'm not sure how much I like this darker grain but I hope I can send it and uh, yeah so everything is flush. Now it's time to assemble it and um, make some pocket holes. I mean a lot of pocket holes. The pocket holes gonna go from here, 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 here from the inside. So I'm just gonna mark it so I don't forget what it is. When you're done arranging and satisfied with the look of your tabletop, carefully flip the boards to the inside and mark where pocket holes will go. I made six pocket holes for each board, but I think I could get away with five. So all pocket holes are ready and a very important point, a uh, very important point, do not forget which side is which. So I'm gonna flip it all over this way and then I'm gonna assemble it. Okay, so I guess we're doing it just with the glue and me stepping on it. Don't laugh at me, but the best way I know how to assemble the tabletop is using a crack jack and attaching it with the glue. At the same time, you will be standing on those boards, you know, making sure that they are aligned. So the weight of your body 
could kind of align these wooden planks. You could also clamp it, but as you can see, my 36 inch clamp didn't work since it was literally a quarter inch too short. Add wood glue on one board and attach it to another one with the pocket holes. Move forward one by one and let it dry. I mean, maybe it's not the right way to do it and there's more fancy way, but I don't know about it. But I already made one tabletop like this way and I can totally vouch for this method. And this is why, friends, we don't pre-cut wood uh, on the pieces like this. Because, you see, it was not, the wood was not exactly three feet when it's put together and, yeah, we would have been short, but we're not. Measure how wide your tabletop is becoming. So cut two uh, four inches boards at 36 inches to create size for the tabletop. I think it's better to make cuts as you go since you can adjust the length of the sides. My tabletop wasn't exactly 36 inches after boards were attached, but uh, a bit wider. So it could be an issue if you pre-cut the wood. So always cut the wood as you go. Attach sideboards to the tabletop using glue and pocket hole screws, and then let it dry. Okay, so the base seems to be ready and to be honest, I kind of regret that I started this project because I don't think it's that perfect. But you know what, I'm gonna try and sand it down now and smooth the surface and see what's gonna happen. But damn, maybe I jumped over my head thinking that I can make a dining table. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be working with. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay guys, I actually take it back because it looks awesome after I sanded it, so I was sanding for quite some time and uh, with a 60 grit paper and then with 220 and you know what? It actually looks amazing! Ah, I'm so excited! So uh, now I'm gonna be making the legs and the base for the table. Wish me luck! I didn't want to fuss too much about making legs myself, so I pre-ordered like pre-made legs and this is gonna make my job so much easier and plus they are perfectly straight and even, which is, yeah, the crucial point for making the table, right? So, yes, we're gonna make a base now. So I just aligned my legs how I think they would look good and um, I'm gonna pre-cut the wood. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this like one by fourth to make the base. So I'm gonna be using again the crack jig because it's the easiest way for me to do it and yeah so I don't wanna just learn new joining methods and plus I don't have the right tools probably so the crack jig it is with pocket holes. To connect this board over here with the crack jig, another one over here and make a bracket to make it more stable. Showtime! It's gonna be either one of my favorite projects or my least favorite. We'll see. 
Take your legs and place them on the tabletop to determine the positioning of your legs and aprons uh, and then cut it to length. In my case it was 26 inches and 50 inches. And then make pocket holes on all the sides of the board. Okay, so the wood for the base is all pre-cut and now we're gonna make pocket holes to connect it. Do you wanna see how it looks now? So crucial moment, I marked where the straight angle gonna go because you see it's like a bit curved. It's called, I think, tempered. And then uh, the edge, the straight edge should be inside. So to not get confused, I marked here and I marked on the other side. So the pocket holes are ready and now it's an assembly time. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so to put this together, I'm gonna be using this uh, half an inch plywood shed. So when I'm gonna attach this, so when I'm gonna attach this side, you see there's gonna be like a half an inch gap from the edge. I think that's gonna look cute, right? And we should add some glue to it to make it completely unbreakable. Attach aprons with pocket holes and glue and uh, also use a speed square and the right angled clamp because it's so amazing and uh, if you don't have this yet, I, you definitely should get, get one. What this right angled clamp does, it secures such a tight positioning of two boards. Attaching two boards becomes so easy and just seamless. Always refer to a speed square to make sure it's a perfect 90 degree angle. So now I want to make a brackets over here to connect these two boards so it's very very secure wow we're almost there i cut it at 45 degrees and then so now we're gonna make a pocket holes to attach it when aprons are attached flip the base and it's time to add some security i didn't have enough o boards left so i used one by four pine wood i made four 12 inches planks and cut out a 45 degree angle on both sides using my miter saw and then make pocket holes on both sides of the boards and attach them to the aprons easy peasy oh, i'm so excited that i'm almost done so to connect this tabletop to the base i'm gonna use this uh, little washers i'm gonna leave you the link below and um Yes, we're gonna send it down one more time and assemble it. Use a wider drill bit to make a hole and then carefully remove the remaining wood. It's much better to do with a chisel, but I didn't have it, so I had to use what I had. And then uh, drive a screw through it. Make sure that you pre-drill the hole in this wood because I already broke one screw inside. Oops, you see? There's a screw inside. Lightly wipe out with a damp cloth to raise the grain and sand it again. In this case, it's gonna make the wood as smooth as possible. Then go ahead and attach the skirt washers to the base and uh, you're done. Oh my god, I love this table so much. I think it turned out so gorgeous and so amazing and it's probably my most favorite build to this day. Well, I mean, I actually say it all the time, but it's really, really awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that this inspired you to go and build a dining table for yourself. And as you can see, it's so easy to make and it's nothing complicated. There's no complicated joiner and you can just do everything with a crack jack easily that was my goal don't you think it turned out amazing i mean come on leave me the comments below what do you think about this dining table and if you're actually planning to make one because i really hope that after this video you're gonna go and make your dream dining table
If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell button to be notified every time I post a new video so you can get inspired with me and get creative and get those creative juices flowing. Yay! Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Don't you think it turned out amazing? Oh, I'm so love. I'm, I'm in love so much. I, I love this table so much now that I don't want my kids to eat on it ever, ever. But I could actually fix it if something goes wrong. So, because I made it. I made it. Yes, I made this dining table.